Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. With the continuous rise of China's new productivity, chips have become China's most important imported commodity after iron, ore and oil. In 2024, China's total chip imports will reach 2,744.5 billion yuan, more than 220 billion yuan higher than the total imports of crude oil and refined oil. Originally, chip trade could have become a bond of interest in Sino-US economic and trade relations, but the United States insisted on hegemony. According to US media reports, the Trump administration has put pressure on Singapore to strictly investigate the smugglers who sell AI chips to China. At present, the Singapore police have arrested nine businessmen suspected of reselling NVIDIA chips, one of whom is a Chinese businessman with the alias Li Ming and was prosecuted. In the severe situation where the United States continues to tighten chip exports to China, China suddenly cancelled 350 billion yuan of imported chip orders. Can self-developed chips take the lead? 1. Hot domestic chips As the largest chip foundry leader in mainland China, SMIC's performance directly reflects the hot market of domestic chips. According to data released on SMIC's official website, the company's operating income exceeded 8 billion US dollars for the first time in 2024 and the company's domestic revenue accounted for 89.1% in the fourth quarter, an increase of 7.5 percentage points from the beginning of the year. SMIC's great success is directly related to three major benefits. First, the explosive growth in demand in the consumer electronics field. In 2023, SMIC's operating income from smartphones and tablets accounted for only 25%, but last year's revenue from consumer electronics contributed more than 40% of its operating income. The explosive growth in demand for consumer electronics chips is no accident. Among the top three smartphones in domestic sales in 2024, Vivo and Huawei's sales increased by a total of 17.3 million units, while Apple sold 8.9 million fewer units. Second, a significantly tilted official procurement policy. The guidance on procurement of central enterprises issued in July last year and the draft for soliciting opinions on government procurement issued in December both mentioned the support policy of giving priority to the purchase of domestic chips. Since the United States began to tighten its chip controls on China, government agencies, enterprises and institutions have begun to purchase more and more computers with domestic CPUs and many telecommunications and internet companies have also begun to replace imported chips used in data centers. Third, the rapid development of China's intelligent manufacturing. As one of the few chip foundries in the world that uses mature processes, nearly 60% of SMIC's chip orders come from the industrial field. As China's competitiveness in smart cars, smart home appliances, and other fields continues to improve, SMIC's order guarantees are becoming more and more solid. Take the automotive field as an example. In 2024, China's new energy vehicle exports will increase by about 800,000 units compared with 2023. The resulting chip demand ensures the performance growth of the domestic chip industry. 2. The benefits of the rise of domestic chips. The hot domestic chip market is by no means just a benefit for industry leaders such as SMIC. This high-tech product, which represents the direction of China's new quality productivity, has brought at least three obvious benefits to the Chinese economy. First, the cost of imported chips has been significantly reduced. According to Common Sense, as the United States upgrades chip export controls, imported chips are likely to experience a price increase. However, according to data released by the Customs Department, the average cost of imported chips in China in 2024 is only 70 US dollars and 20 cents per 100 chips, which is about 3.7% cheaper than in 2023. Obviously, under the influence of domestic chip substitution, it is difficult for the giants of Maishan to harvest Chinese consumers with low-quality and high-priced chips. Second, 
the rapid development of the artificial intelligence industry. The emergence of DeepSeek has completely changed the global AI market structure dominated by the United States. Recently, China has launched an AI model called Manus, which, like DeepSeek, is an innovative achievement from a tech unicorn company. Without the hardware support provided by the developed domestic chip industry, it would be almost impossible for the Chinese AI industry, which has been developing under the siege of the United States, to achieve such rapid development achievements. Third, global capital invests in China. Recently, the global capital market has seen a magical phenomenon of sunrise in the east and rain in the west. The US stock market, which has continued to fall under the pressure of the tariff war, has been unable to retain global capital. On the contrary, the Chinese capital market, which has been seriously underestimated, has been bullish by many Wall Street investment banks. Now China is gradually getting rid of its dependence on the demographic dividend, and the rapid development of domestic chips proves that the talent dividend has become a new driving force for China's economy. 3. Challenges Faced by Domestic Chips According to media reports, more than 140,000 chip companies will be deregistered or closed nationwide in 2024. For example, Zhujiang Technology, which once claimed to be benchmarking NVIDIA, was forced to delist in 2024 due to major financial fraud. If domestic chips want to embark on the path of sustainable development, they must solve three deep-rooted industry problems. First, the problem of relying on fiscal subsidies. Today, almost all companies related to independent research and development can enjoy national and local fiscal subsidies. For example, SMIC enjoyed as much as 1.08 billion yuan in government subsidies in the first half of 2024 alone, while the company's tax payment in 2023 was less than 1.2 billion yuan. In 2024, China's tax revenue fell by more than 3%, and it is difficult to expand support for independent research and development. All companies must embark on a self-financing development path as soon as possible. Second, the problem of slow progress in high-end chips. Judging from the arrest of nine AI chip resellers in Singapore, there are indeed many technology companies in China that secretly use imported chips. The current hot market for domestic chips is mainly related to mature processes. The problem of lithography machines blocking China's high-end chips has been delayed in mass production. Faced with the threat of the United States continuing to increase export controls, China must promote independent research and development of high-end chips as soon as possible. Third, the problem of shortage of high-end talents. Many technical talents of American chip giants such as NVIDIA and AMD are of Chinese descent or Chinese students, and they have now become the accomplices of the United States in blocking China's chip neck. Domestic universities have always been out of touch with society in terms of talent training, and some schools even use textbooks from decades ago to train talents in chips and the internet. Only by thoroughly reforming higher education can China's local talents meet the development requirements of scientific and technological revitalization. It is not only the CPU and GPU used in mobile phones and computers that are called chips. At present, the growth points of domestic chips are mainly concentrated in the field of industrial chips using mature processes. If you want to truly break the monopoly of the United States and the West in the field of high-end chips, you must make great efforts in many aspects such as enterprise development, talent training and government guidance. So, what do you think of the development prospects of domestic chips? Welcome to leave a message in the comment area for discussion, please give us a follow.